everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and we have another beta update. Just getting swarmed with updates today. We just had our cinema roll collaboration uh, announcement, and now this one. So what's really cool about this update is supposedly we can now finally access our nests. And look at this. It has changed a lot. It does look beautiful, though I do miss those little... Oh, there's a cute dock. Aw. I do miss those little uh, curtains. I don't know what you would call them over the windows. They were they were adorable, but hey, they still look great. So we are going to have to do the season quests. I think only the second one before we can access the nest. And hang on, I'm going to check if there's... Yes, the Days of Nature items are finally here. So we'll check those out right after. As soon as I'm done this video, I'll work on a Days of Nature update so we can check out the new hair and the cape. Anyways, walking down here towards the furniture shop. And uh, let's start our second quest, finally. Are there any major changes here? I don't think so. Um, we still have the pink candles for now. Oh, let's see. Maybe we have some seasonal guide items? No, not yet. Everything's still work in progress. Where? I want to see what they'll bring. Please. The weaver. Ah. <sighs> Soon. The upholsterer. This person has a lot of spaces in their tree still, so I think we'll see some cosmetics added eventually. Though I do think the main focus of the season is, of course, the new furniture and building these nests. Some cosmetics are sure to come. The nesting guide has another gift for you. Meet them in Aviary Village. Will do. Uh, why aren't you out there? Hmm... Little key is still here, looking cute. And then... Oh my goodness, these prices are very different now. Um... Holy, 150 candles, Santa candles. Okay, my guess is that these are placeholder prices and they're going to change because that is obviously ridiculous pricing, but uh, I guess we'll see. If you have feedback, of course, you can leave it in their official Sky Discord under the beta feedback section. Uh, that's the quickest way to implement any change if you feel there is need for change. I'm going to leave feedback on it after this video. So, uh, group effort, you know? Alright, leaving, we see the, uh, nesting guide is heading to the apartments at last. I can't wait to see the inside. Over here we go. It's got to still be broken, right? They want us to pull it? Okay. Let's pull it. Yeah. Oops. Awkward. Sorry about that. That's my fault. My bad. My bad. Hey, bug, are you purring? Yeah, you're purring. <laughs> Alright, let's find these pieces. Uh, they did fall. I saw one under here. This little dock section is really cute. I imagine that's how Sky Kids would move their belongings to their new apartments. They'd haul them all in a little boat that would go down the canal. Oh, adorable. I'm not sure why we're picking up rolling pins, but that's fine. One over here. Thank you, butterflies. I need that flight. One up top here. Oh my gosh, my cat is purring so hard. I'm just standing next to you. That's all it takes. Uh, this one is in a weird spot, isn't it? What? What? It's on the other side of the wall? How strange. Oh, there it is. Weird. Oh, it's on the other side of this little canal. Well, I guess boats wouldn't really flow through here, would they? <laughs> the canal is very short. It's just for some Sky Kid fishing. Now, I did see someone say on that cinema roll video I just put up that uh, it might come alongside the season of nesting. I think it's going to be events, so it would obviously be here for like a week or two only. But that's a really good idea. I think that this season is going to be very based on furniture and building this new nest, which obviously not everyone's going to be into. Not everyone cares about building a home. 
it's not a feature that everyone's going to want. Some people just want cosmetics. So I think if they run along the same time, I think that'd be a good way to supplement uh, having some more cosmetics added for this season. I do think some cosmetics are going to be added, but if you don't want to deal with the furniture at all, I don't think you would have to buy the season pass, and instead you could save your money for the cinnamon roll thing. You know, win-win. Oh, it's our nest! Look at it! When I was a kid, I always thought apartments with elevators in them were bougie. Like, those sort of elevators where there's, like, the gate that opens, I thought they were really cool. They're probably the opposite of bougie, but <laughs> I thought they were cool. Um, visitor settings. So we could set it to friends only or private. Um, from what I read, this is currently broken or not active, so you can't set it to public at the moment. But I believe we are going to be able to. How cute! I love the big windows. I kind of wish that was one big window. I guess we have the big round window on this side. Cool. There's no music. It's a little anticlimactic. I think I might have background music turned off. Oops. Cute. Feels like a... Like a dungeon a little bit. Like a Slytherin dungeon. In a positive way, I swear. I don't mean that negatively. I always thought that was cool when I was a kid. Which are, yeah, the music is absolutely down. Let's turn it on. And we're going to edit our home. Let's see. Oh, boy. I'm not currently in the mood to do a whole decorating build um but i will at some point and i will update you guys on what my home looks like for now i'm just kind of playing around it does look like we have a featured tab so even if you have no furniture you'll still have some furniture like i saw there was that dresser that functions as a closet in there that's pretty cool i wonder if it uh switches around every once in a while that'd be nice to add some uh uniqueness to sky kids homes change it up a bit I wonder if we can decorate over in this front area so we could make like an entryway, like a, fo a foyer. Is that what that's called? Okay. Yes, I can place stuff here. Can I place stuff in the elevator? No, that makes sense. That's a shared elevator. That does make sense to me. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a way to make this entryway look a little more grand. It's kind of sparse. I'm going to have to think on it a bit. I don't have any ideas right now maybe some sort of like a shelf half in the way okay so you can't put items too close to the elevator unfortunately i wish they could go a little closer but that is fine and then it does look like we have a lot of storage space so i think we can add a lot of items at the top there you can of course see how much space we have i think that these colorful items or items that aren't meant to be um, furniture from this new spe season are going to take a lot more storage space. So let's see. Placing down some of this stuff. It takes barely any storage at all. So I think we'll be able to decorate a lot. Oh, I'm so excited to see what people make though. Oh, I just thought about like a bar table using these um, stools. Items like this, like like previous prop items, they will take a little more storage space, but not too much, honestly. I'm excited. I don't know what to do right now, but uh, decorating should be fun. At the moment, though, I don't really have any plans or idea of what I want to do, so I think I'm just going to finish this quest for now, and then we'll start the next one. Yeah, so I'm going to clear this for now, and then I'm just going to place down some random stuff, and then we'll say yes, that's my home. Oh, a little bench? How lovely. Oh, a little armchair? Cute. Um... What else we got? Maybe, uh, yeah, we'll do this rug. Now that is home. And our quest has completed. So maybe we have to use something from that featured menu for it to complete because that's what I just did. Not sure. Look at our little home. I actually like, oh, pretty. I like the view from outside, just the clouds flowing in the background, it feels very sky.
Oh, the key, the key to our home. How cute. Oh, I wonder if this gives us an item. Oh, wouldn't it be so adorable to have like a key hook that you could put in your front entrance? I doubt it, but I'm gonna have to see if that gave me an item. Oh, this is beautiful, the lighting. Congratulations, this is only the first step of your nesting adventure. Ooh, that makes it sound exciting. A new item? No. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? A key hook. Ooh. Or a welcome mat. Ah, okay. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's uh, head down. Oh, I want to make this into like a gallery wall. I need some paintings or something. Ah, I have so many ideas. They're starting to flow. Um, so we have two levers. That's the word. Two levers. I'm assuming one will take us back down. And then maybe one um, would allow us to visit our friends' nests, possibly. Or other players' nests, if they're public. <gasps> ah! It's cute! It's been decorated! Oh, flowers! Oh, yay! The, um, 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 fabric things are back. I can't think of the word. M my brain is saying tarp. That's not the word. The key above the nesting place. Oh. Oh! Cute! Alright, let's turn our quest in. And then we should have a second quest to do already. Or uh, I guess the third quest, technically. A second quest today, but the third quest overall. Key! Hello, nesting guy. Let me turn this in. Oh, no cutscene or anything. That's nice. I like that. Fulfill the wish of this ancestor spirit. We get another heart. And then we're going to start quest number three. Hello, nesting guide. Can I please use that hammer in the back that's floating there? Ooh. Ooh. Something to do. This challenge board will track your nesting growth. Ooh. Feeling a little bit like Stardew Valley or something, where they have the uh, job board in the home. Uh, town, I mean. <laughs> Complete any three challenges from the challenge board to claim a reward from the nesting guide. Oh, three challenges. Don't mind if I do. So let's see, three little pieces of paper. We have this one, which is obtain three props from the shop. Oh, that one's dangerous right now. They're so expensive. Ooh. Okay, what's this next one? Hello? We can't activate the third one yet. Oh, place five props in your nest. There we go, okay. Alright, the third one... Yeah, we can't activate it. It says available in five days. Oh, each section has a different name. So that one was Friends. Nesting Challenges Friends. Which is not available yet because you can't visit nests, I think. Nesting Challenges Nest. And then we have Nesting Challenges Workshop. Alright, so we have to do three of these. I only can activate two at the moment. One is to buy three props, which is daunting right now just because of the price. I don't have very many candles or hearts, so I th think I'm really going to go for what's cheapest right now, which seems to be 50 candles, 40 candles. Be sure. Let me double double check. There's another 40 candle there. Uh, 24 candles, 30 candles. Okay, we'll do the 30, we'll do the 24. We're keeping things as cheap as we can. And then we have to buy one more. I think the cheapest at this point is a 40 candle item um i'm really hoping these are placeholder prices and i'm pretty confident they are because they're a bit ridiculously priced but the good thing about these items is obviously you don't need all 10 different rugs you just need a select one or two that you enjoy so you can always pick and choose uh so oh, wrong one i did this one the workshop nesting challenge. Let me select it, please. Yes. Okay, turn it in and we get a heart, of course. Uh, let's see. Can we select our next quest? We can. What is it? Um, it's not popping up. 
Oh, it pops up when you go nearby. So place five items in your nest. Publish 15 shared space spells. Oh, that one's a bit daunting, isn't it? Um, might don't want to do that one. I'm going to put five items in my nest. We'll do that first. Can I? No, I still can't use this. Fine. Fine. I won't then. <laughs> I'll add five props to my nest. I wonder if these are meant to be, oh, look. You can actually see the elevator go up. That's cute, okay. I wonder if these are meant to be something that you do over a period of time and not within one day. The 15 shared space spells is pretty uh, crazy. Let's see, uh, we'll put that there. We'll put a little uh, d uh, um, um, <laughs> chair or something. Sorry, I'm at a loss for words right now. Little chair. Uh... Kitchen. Let's see. I just bought the mug rack. We'll put that up. What's this? When did I get this towel rack? This is a new item, I think. Cute. Okay. Return to the nesting guides challenge board to collect your reward. All right. Save that. And we shall go for now. Go back. Turn it in. I think it would be really cool if these challenges reset once a week, maybe, so that you could uh, always have a supply of, like, maybe even even five hearts or six hearts a week would very much supplement how many players actually need. Okay, so let's start this second quest in the nest tier. Maybe it's going to be easier than the shared space spells. What is this one? Use the moments guide camera to take ten pictures in your nest. Easy! We're doing that one. Easy. And um, I am going to just take 10 of the exact same picture. Full disclosure. <laughs> I'm not doing this the proper way. Just for now. Just for now. Maybe in the live game when I had friends over and they're sitting on my couch and being all cute. Maybe then I would take 10 different pictures. But for now, no way. No way. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what's this? Ah, the green. Cute. I have shown what this is before. It's essentially like a new way to uh, get daily quests. It, it is optional at the moment. You can, of course, just go to the statue like normal, but it's decorated even more, the little cafe. Cute. Okay, back to the nest. We're going to take ten of the exact same picture and turn in this thing third challenge here we are oh my gosh i just thought of something that would be cute a record player you could play whatever realms music or areas music you'd like so long as you've collected it in some way that'd be very adorable the same picture 10 times sorry this is gonna be very boring uh-huh Another picture, and another picture, and a couple more pictures. Picture. Done. Complete. All right. Return to the nesting guides challenge board program to collect your reward. Okay. Whew. We're back. We're back. Turn this one in. We fulfilled the wish of this ancestor spirit. Yes. And I'm not really sure what this challenge board is meant to be at this moment. I mean, obviously it's a nice way to get some currency. Hopefully it resets once a week. I think that'd be really nice for players. Especially for solo players that don't, you know, regularly heart trade. We can turn in our quest finally. That's the challenge board, yes. I see it. I like that it's wooden. Continue completing challenges. Oh. Well, we don't have a fourth quest at the moment, so that's all we have. Oh, what a kind of sad way to end. Fine. I just want to know what the mallet is. Maybe with the fourth quest, we'll find out. Cool. Well, all in all, so far, I'm having fun with this season. I do like the nest. I hope we get some more uh, functions to... Change it the way we'd like to, like maybe change the walls to like wood or something like that, or add music, or... But for now, I'm just gonna have fun and decorate. I do want to see if there's any new items, because I did see that I bought a uh, 
towel rack or something where I have a towel rack. And I don't think I've seen that before unless I'm totally misremembering. Okay, well, that does seem to be it, just this towel rack that I can find that's different. If this even is different, I might just be forgetting that I had this already. Hmm. Ah. Okay, well, that is it so far. I'm gonna make a cute little, um, bathroom here. Mirror, towel, where's the sink? Where is it? Sink! Uh, it should be with the kitchen stuff, right? There. There it is. Lovely little bathroom. Alright, that's it for this video. Remember, everything is still um, being built upon. It's still being tested in the beta, so you can always leave your feedback in the official server if you have any. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. See you guys in the next one. I'm going to do a Days of Nature update right away. Okay, bye guys!